one. Throw, kill a lot. You can write itself, of course. Oh! There's the... We've got some great-looking robots in the pits for the melee, starting with Wheelie Big Cheese from Somerset. Big Cheese is big, bigger brother. Yes. This can lift a ton's worth of something or other. That's about a car's worth. Flip it up. Uh, those tyres? No, they're not tyres. Ooh, look at those. What are they no, made of? Your fingers. They're tungsten. Especially sharp. Oh, it's sharp. Mm. Lackpot in Somerset, the number 15C, Wheelie Big Cheese. One of the stars of the last series, the weapon can actually throw 800 kilos into the air. The wheels have golf shoe spikes, it's powered by two golf cart motors. So, four! Watch out for this. One. Wheelie Big Cheese there on the right-hand side. It's like a Formula One racer, doesn't it? A slower start from Wheelosaurus. Oh, and immediately flipped up and over by Price Fighter. But, of course, the Victorian pram wheels, it bounces down OK. Another attack, though, on Wheelosaurus. Now, what's Wheelie Big Cheese doing? Taking on Killalot, looking for revenge right from the start here. Roger Flunt ignoring the other competing robots. Is it fair to them? Is it fair to us? It is. It's lovely to see a grudge match like this. Wheelie Big Cheese against Killalot. And don't forget the other house robots, Roger Plant. House robots like Shunt, the great... But it looks like Jaws opening up of Wheelie Big Cheese because of the, uh, the throwing device in the front of it. Now backing on to Bryce Fighter Mark II, slamming it against the arena wall. Again, the lifting device springs open. What's happened to, to uh, Wheelosaurus there on one side? Sort of a, a cock-handed approach there from Peter Gibson. Something's gone wrong as, again, Wheelie Big Cheese comes in for a slice of Bryce Fighter, bounces off the arena, attacks Wheelosaurus. Wheelosaurus looking a little bit lightweight, but is Bryce Fighter immobilised on the arena wall, dangerously near a CPZ. Into the CPZ and the clutches of Killalot. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Wheelie Big Cheese is backing away at the right time. Ha-ha! You're mine! You're mine, prize fighter, says Killalot. Just getting away. And in comparison to Wheelie Big Cheese's flipper, the flipper at the start, the uh, front of prize fighter, uh, looks like a little dessert spoon. Nothing more. We'll kill a lot. We'll shut have it for a nice bit of dessert this afternoon. We wait and see. In goes the axe of shunt. Away and over the uh, arena floor, Flipper and Killalot up and on top of Wheelie Big Cheese. You can see the trundling tracks of Killalot. That's a mighty heavy rope, 280 kilos. Killalot on top there of Wheelie Big Cheese. So, is the boast to come true? They can throw 800 kilos, they tell us. Come on then, throw Killalot. Go on, throw Killalot. You can't, you can't. The pit descends 1 0 to the house robots, I think. There, Roger Mann, don't you? Oh, into the pit! Who's got into the pit first? It's mayhem out there! That's a confusion! Who went in first? They're all in! Ah, oh, great stuff! Take them, the house robots! Yeah, right. Oh, severe carnage! All three robots end up in the pit. The judges want to see that battle again, so let's take another look. Oh, that was sensational stuff. Wheelie Big Cheese, the aggressor throughout. Price fight, the slammed against the arena wall, and I think that's where the damage came from, Shunt. And afterwards, uh, just have a look at Price Fighter 2. Is it under control or is it just spinning? Is it in fact being dragged around by the house robots? And because they came in, it's a signal that it was immobilised. I think it must have been immobilised. In goes Wheelie Big Cheese, not quite into the pit. Price Fighter certainly going in, but I think it was immobilised first. I don't know, the judges would have decided. Well, I think that's a first for Robot Wars. All three robots in the pit, in different orders, but that was quite a mess we saw there, and it has gone to the judges. Uh, Big Cheese, you went in first. What do you think the judges will say about that? We're out. I've no idea. Well, I can reveal to you who has gone out, go and on, it is... Go on. The prize fighter team oh. eee, on a judge's decision. Mm -hmm. Why? Immobilised for 30 seconds. You know the judges' criteria. Who knows? It is in their hands. Right. Are you disappointed? Yeah, but that's how it goes, isn't it? <laughs> Once you're out, you're out. Yeah, never judges mind. Judges' decision is final. Roboteers, stand by. Wheelie Big Cheese, Team Captain Roger Plant is fond you a big performance in Robot Wars. And Killatron. Richard Broad, the team captain, there on the left-hand side of the controls and aircraft interior fitter by trade. Three, 
Just any ordinary chunk of cheese. Oh, Gruyere, you want to come and bet on that. Killatron on the left-hand side. There's Richard Broad. Oh, down comes his axe, but up comes the flipper of Willy Big Cheese! And Killatron immediately turned over onto its coxcomb there. And can they recover their senses and their place in Robot Wars? That was a sensational flip from Willy Big Cheese. What power, and again! Actually, it flicks itself up and over, doesn't it? But can right itself, of course. Oh! There's the old picking back. This is great stuff. Killitron, over and out. Look at this. Wheelie Big Cheese underneath. Hey! Up and over you go. The axe bore the brunt of the ball. I don't know whether or not the uh, Killitron axe will be bendy, pliable. Whoa! Or damaging after that. Sensational stuff from Willy Big Cheese. So impressive. Killer John's just about okay. Rocking in a reeling. Willy Big Cheese on the attack again. With the wedge of cheese. Hard cheddar for Killer John. Hey! Up and over once again. It's a spree for the Bree Boys of Willy Big Cheese. And Killatron now about to be attacked by Matilda, by Killalot. Uh, go on, Tilda, you have a go now, says Killalot. Oh, you're too slow, Matilda. Killalot wants to drag it away. Oh, poor old Killatron. Richard and Abdul and Ian. So much painstaking care on these robots. We have fun with them, but you have our admiration out there, each and every one of you. Well, obviously not her admiration. She wants you torched and pitted. Ruella de Ville, it must have been out there in the audience. Killatron's pink paint at the moment. Oh, it's smoking and burning. And pink paint punctured hopes of Killatron. The chainsaw of Matilda. This really is. is making me weep with joy. Oh, a slow slice. It's better, actually, when the pain is slower than how strong I find. I don't know about you back at home, but uh, I certainly did. I did metal and uh, Matilda and kill a lot. Go on, end it now. Kill a ton into the pit, for mercy's sake. Well done, Wheelie really Big Cheese, and mighty impressive it was too. From Roger Plant and co. And poor old Richard Apple and Ian. Well, they've gone <laughs> defiant to the end. It's too late now. You're out! Go home! Good night! Farewell! Adieu! Well, it may look like a dairy leaf slice, but Wheelie Big Cheese is a really hard cheese. Killatron, go out! Wheelie Big Cheese, go through! Just write up an answer and then we can find out how long it'll take before we can carry on. This is the brilliant bit about Rebel Wars, isn't it? It's a lovely bit yeah, about no. Rebel Wars, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Do you know much about this? What do you reckon it is? Uh, possibly a strip gear in a gearbox. We shall soon find out. Why will it not come off? Hammer. Need a bigger hammer? Have we had this on Robot Wars before? Many times. What happens if they just can't make it through to the final? Well, normally we would work on the robot so we can make it right. through. So um, we've not yet had a problem. Let me have a check quick. Yeah. Let's put its lid on again. Keep the... Oh, tell us what it is. Tell us what's happened. Pin's broken. Pin's broken. Yeah. Easy to fix. Put another gearbox on. Another it's gearbox. a pin. Oh. Easy to Forget the pin, just put a whole new gearbox on. Two more robots in casualty, and there's a stretcher standing by for another one as they fight for a place in our series semi finals. It's the third and final round. From Langport in Somerset, the number 15 seed. Wheelie Big Cheese. With Roger Plant, I knew he could fix it. Jules, you don't just use your pins to keep your hat on, girl. From Derby, at seated number 32, Suicidal Tendencies. Charles Pins on the left, Andrew Jeffrey and his brother Martin on the right. Roboteers, stand by. Terrific heat final, this. Three, two, one. Two pacey and heavyweight robots, suicidal tendencies on the tracks against the wedge of wheelie big cheese. Don't go 
anywhere near that front flipper, otherwise it'll be all over, I would imagine, for suicidal tendencies. It can run either way up, but if it can be knocked on its side, that surely will be the end of it. The suicidal tendencies getting in underneath, really big cheese. A ground clearance between 0 and 20 millimetres on that gradient, you see, of wheelie really big cheese. Up and over suicidal tendencies. A bit of damage being caused by one of them. I can see some shards of metal perhaps on the arena floor. There's the toothpick approach of suicidal tendencies. And Willie Big Cheese, there is something still wrong here. I know they re uh, replaced the gearbox, but it's not as effective as it was early on. And in comes Dead Metal to attack the studded wheels. Oh, grating metal. Did you hear that? Sounded painful. It was uh, Dead Metal as Willie Big Cheese tried to flip its way out of trouble. And in the end, just gets away. Tendencies comes in on the attack, and again, I don't think there's a great deal of power. There certainly is pace behind the toothpick, but can it really penetrate and cause damage? But it's doing well here. I must admit, I thought this would be easy for Wheelie Big Cheese. Backing on that are suicidal tendencies. The Derby team who lost in the heat final to Mace 2 in the last series, using the spikes to get in underneath Wheelie Big Cheese. This is a, a tough one here for the boys from Somerset. They were the favourites, I would guess, coming into this heat final. It hasn't worked out for them at all. There's been good aggression all the way through from suicidal tendencies. Oh, the pit descends. Can tendencies ease the cheese towards the pit? Oh, just stayed away. You can hear the groan of the crowd. There, you can just see shards, splinters on the arena floor. Damage has certainly been caused. Oh! And Suicidal Tendons is very, very near the jaws of doom! And the bit of Willie McCheese on the brink! That is brinkmanship to the extreme! They are dancing with death out there, the two of them! The Red Fox takes a close look and backs away sensibly! I'm not too sure if Suicidal Tendons has a problem with its left-hand track as we look at it now! I think the left track has been immobilised! Willie McCheese has driven itself into the pitch! And it's a victory against all odds for suicidal tendencies. Well, as always on Robot Wars, controversy is never very far away. The judges want to have a look at that. The judges aren't happy. It's going to a judge's decision. Well, I thought it was all over, but the judges think otherwise. Let's see why. It could well be that suicidal tendencies was immobilised for too long, though the aggression was all tendencies for me. Willie Big Cheese sustaining damage from dead metal, but I think it's key here. Had suicidal tendencies lost control because of the trap problem before Cheese went into the pit? Close. It's hot up here, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's tense up here, isn't it? Right. Well, the judge has made his decision, and the judge says, Suicidal Tendencies track wasn't working for a long time during that fight, so you didn't have control. So the judges have gone for Wheelie Big Cheese! You must be gutted! We are, yeah. I it's bet you thought you had that, didn't you? We did, yeah. We were contemplating it to Razorblade last year, yeah. where he went in the pit and we had a seized track. Yeah. So, I think there might have been a slight change this year, you know, because yeah. Gemini went out when, when only half that robot sort of yeah. worked. And they kind of said that only half your ro robot works because only half the side mm. was working on track. So I think, you know, yeah. there is yeah. some consistency in the decision. Yeah. But you still must be gutted. Still, oh, yes. Definitely. We're definitely yeah. gutted. We've had oh. a great time. Yeah. What happened with the track? We don't um, know yet. We think it's a Seize gearbox, same as last year. A yeah. Seize gearbox. Yeah. See, you've got that persistent yeah. problem. You're going to have to yeah. work it out, lads. That's right. It's on the other side, though, this year. Yeah. <laughs> so men, men one side, it's now the other side. You've been great fun. Yeah, it's been great to have you. Yeah, been great. Come back right. and see us again. Yeah, Pleasure Pleasure Ladies and gentlemen, suicidal tendencies! <laughs> Come on! We made it! We made it! The guys from the West Country, all the way from Langport, I bet you thought you were going back home early, didn't you? No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We, <laughs> had we twice made it to the third round and got out. This time we got through. Going all the way this time. Well done. Yeah. It was touching. Girl, you yeah. guys must like living on the edge or what? Yeah. The skin of your teeth, teeth you big cheese boys. Know. Yeah, well, why not? Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Wheelie Big Cheese! Yeah! Well, if 
there's one thing that your television license ensures, it's robot mayhem. It's robot wars. Bye-bye.